right, there was an easy piece <coughs> in the key of G and <coughs> comes out of an old collection of Stefan Grossman's stuff and he revamped this uh, and I'll put a link in the video description where you can find it now but this I tapped, well a friend of mine tapped this out and uh, the tap is free and there's a link also in the video description and this is an excellent uh, easy piece to practice your alternating bass and the alternating bass in this song goes from the 6th string to the 4th string in a G chord and in a partial D chord so very simple uh, so let's start with the first couple bars very slowly That was the first line of the tap and what's in the uh, using the G chord and uh, starting with a pinch and another pinch open 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 first string and third string so it's and then the pinky on the third fret third string and I don't keep my finger there Otherwise you get that. And get a nice division of the notes there. Again that third fret, third string. And now we go to the D. And you can either, like I do, use a temp wrap. And I advise you to try that. Because, well, we have five digits, so why not use them all? it can come in handy later on especially in this style for example in the key of C you're gonna to have to use that F chord and who wants to do a bar for the F chord and with a temp wrap you can play a very easily other kind of uh, riffs so we were at the second line with the D chord, one more time. And open. And back to our G chord. So one more time. And you see the pinky does all the work. Good exercise to uh, to get a more developed pinky, which is also important. And you see, I'm fretting the G chord with my pinky, not like this, which I think is a very bad way of uh, uh, fretting your G chord, because in blues, you're gonna have to use that G7. And when you have the, this form, it's, it's, it's impossible. So use your pinky as much as possible. All right. Um, and we're starting at the last line where we go again to the, the D chord. All right, I'll play the whole song one more time very slowly. Fancy ending. Sixth string, third fret. Fifth string, open and hammer on to the first and the second fret. Open, fourth string. What was it again? Yeah. <laughs> so, open, hammer on the second fret. Open the third string and 
the seventh there, uh, the third fret of the fourth string. And all with the temp. And let the temp rest. When you pick the, the first string, the sixth string, you rest it on the fifth string. Same thing on the fourth string. Rest on the third string. There you go. I think it is, it's important to practice uh, in a meaningful way your alternating bass. Because once you have that as an, an automatism, uh, then, well, the sky is the limit. Then you're open to many, many songs. And uh, I have many songs on my website and people ask me what's the simplest thing. Uh, there are not that simple pieces if you don't know the alternating bass or later on the monotonic bass because that's the basic, uh, the basics of blues playing. Okay, have fun and practice.